Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you my workflow breakdown of how I made this CGI 3D anamorphic display. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air. So please watch this video to the end for some awesome, awesome tips. Let's get started. So at first I, I brought in this can with blender kit. It was a markup can so also I brought in, my, in this, this stuff as images playing into my scene. It was just the background image. I removed the background of the logo of the company. So I used the shrink wrap modifier to wrap it over the can for the branding and make the, the cans a branded can for the original stuff. So yeah, yeah the back one was giving me some issues. Yeah, so I also went online to get this reduce recycle PNG. I wanted to add it to my cans to mm, make it look a little bit better. I use the color ramp over here to change the color from green to black. It was looking good, but the shrink wrap or this one was giving me some hard time, so I had to try out multiple stuff until it worked. So I just duplicated it and placed it at the top of the front logo, so you know, just look good and have more details and decals on the body. So yeah. I also had a branded bottle and another type of can I made, but those ones I kept it in a different collection. That was it. Okay, over here I went into Mixamo to bring in this character. I did a little animation of it just grabbing the stuff. This second one that I brought that I just put in the head, I was trying to do something a little bit crazy but uh, it wasn't working out <laughs> so I just bring it, bring in the can and was trying out some animations idea the idea was to make the, the make Samo character grab the can and drop it and it flows so I started to parent the stuff in the hand over here I wanted to do another simulation I duplicated all the cans, the second cans I made. I wanted to, you know, make it to be plenty, so I duplicated it to maybe like 50 cans. But at that point, my scene wasn't that heavy, so I was glad. <laughs> yeah, what I wanted to do. I wanted to make an effect of all the cans falling from the top place, yeah, just like this. Actually what I used to make that was the physics dropper, that's the modifier I used to get the effects. So you might like to get that stuff, it's a very good add-on that you should have if you are into simulation. It's also have a cloth simulation and stuff it was really helpful for me over here physics dropper so yeah you can check it out so when i was satisfied with the effect i got from the from physics drop dropper i added the lights into the stuff i was doing a test render over here my test render was good so here yeah, i have to come back to the mixam character to make it drop the can that was holding so the way I did that, I duplicated the can in the hand. I you know at the frame, at frame 150, I hide the first one. And at frame 151, I have to make the second one visible. So it would give an effect like uh, like the Mixamo character dropped it from its hand. It was awesome. So yeah, after the Mixamo character dropped it, I had to make it big and uh, did some animation in it, as you can see. So 
so this was where I was doing the animation for the single can that the that the character would drop. I make it bigger, add some keyframes around. I wouldn't give it easy in, ease out, ease modes and stuff. So when my scene was quite ready, I took it into the compositor node. I added a hue saturation, but that one wasn't doing it for me. So I add add a color correction node. I gave it a little bit of saturation because the image was sort of bland and some vibrance to it. So yeah, yeah, I had to set up the render and do a test render, and the shot was looking good. I was happy with my shots, so yeah. And this was my final result. So these were other versions I made of the display. And that's it guys. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.